to Stylish Nigeria YouTube channel. I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers. Thank you all for subscribing to Stylish Nigeria YouTube channel. Thank you for your love and for your support. Okay, guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to cut and sew this off shoulder tiered gown with this back um, tie. So I'm going to be making this video a very um, um, beginner's friendly tutorial. So I'm going to make it detailed for beginners to be able to sew. So because these are dresses that as a beginner, you should try your hands on. So we're going to be working on that. If you are new to the channel, you're highly and very welcome. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe to Stylish Nigeria YouTube channel. Hit on the bell on the side to get an update whenever I upload a new video. And if you want to register for our online classes, you can see my number scrolling through the screen. Send me a message on WhatsApp and then I'll give you the details of the classes that we have available. And then on this video, as you're watching, you see a join button. So that join button is for you to, if you want to support my YouTube channel, so you can just click on that join button and, and join and become a member here on YouTube. Okay. So you can see the pattern paper that I'm going to be making use of. So let's draft the pattern paper. So these are the measurements that we're going to make making use of. So I hope you can see. So our bust measurement is 34. So you divide 34 into 4, you have 8.5. The under bust is 28. You divide into 4, you have 7. The waist is 30. You divide into 4, you have 7.5. The shoulder to half cut is 17 inches. And then the full length of the gown is 38 inches. And then the 38 inches, when you do, when you take out 17, you are going to have 21. So this 21 is what we'll use for the down part. So I hope you understood the measurements, just like I explained. So now the next thing I'm going to do now, we're going to draft on our pattern. We'll, we'll draft the back and the front the same because the dress does not have a zip. Okay. Okay, so I have some basic lines here. So the first line I have here is my bust point, my under bust and the waist. So when making an off shoulder as a beginner, you take out five inches because that five inches is what your shoulder would normally take. So make sure that is out. And then the bust point, which is the nipple point, is 10 inches. The under bust is 13. And then our half cut, just like I explained on our measurement, is 17 inches. So the next thing now, we're drafting the back and the front the same, like I said. So you take your tape like this. You are going to use your shoulder measurement. So for this, my shoulder measurement is 13 which is 6.5. So you put a point there, but I'm going to take out one inch from my measurement. So instead of 6.5, I'm going to make working with 5.5 because it is an off shoulder. So from this 5.5 point, point, yeah, I'm going to measure half of my shoulder, half of my arm hole. So my arm hole is, six, is 16 inches. That's when you divide into two, you have eight. So you, you I'll place eight inches here that's the half and then i'll mark it so on a normal day now i'm giving eight inches for my for my armhole uh -huh. so that's what this means if it is nine you, you just bring it to nine and then from this point i would i'll just mark here like this and then i'll create a curve just a slant curve like this into the armhole area like this okay so the next thing now we're going to mark the neckline. So for the neckline, remember it is five inches. So what I'm going to do, it is almost like a straight neckline. So I'm just going to come down with, I'm going to come down to about six inches for the neckline. So that's, I'm coming down just by one inch. So that's what that means. So from this point like this, I'm just going to create something like a U, like this. So that is just our neck. Like if you want it deeper, you can come down here. So for the bust, like I explained, we are adding 8.5 when you divide our measurement. So I'll come to this point like this, just a little bit. I'll mark that 8.5 here, and then I'll mark it here also. I'll add my stitching allowance. So stitching allowance, I'm just going to add one, two inches is okay for the stitching allowance. Since you are, you are a beginner, that's okay. I'll mark it like this. Then I'll come to the under bust line. Our under bust we're using seven inches. I'll mark my seven inches here, and then I'll add my two inches stitching allowance also here, like that. So from this point, like this, I'm just trying to to slope. Okay. 
So the next thing, I'll come to my half cut, which is, that's where my waist measurement is. I'm using 7.5, just like I explained from our measurement. And then I'm going to add the two inches. Remember, I'm going to take out a waist that of about one inch. So I'll add that to also into the measurement. Make sure you add your that. If not, if you take it out without adding it, it's going to truncate and affect your measurement. So I'll mark it like this. So you can see that's just basically how to draft a simple off shoulder. So the next thing now we're going to cut out. So for the I'll add allowance to the down part of my body. So for the dart, you can just use your basic waist dart of 4 inches. So I'll mark my 4 inches here. And then from this point, I'll come up. I'll just come up to my waist line, waist point like this. And then I will connect it. Okay. Alright, so now let's cut out. Okay, so we have our pattern like I said we can use any one for the back so for this we are going to use this for the back so we'll be able to, to work on it so for the back neckline if you notice the back neckline is kind of deep so we're going to create a V here on this back and then on this side we create a V also so for the back we really don't need that that for the back pattern so it depends on how deep you want that neckline that back part to be Depends on how deep you want it to be. So we're just going to come down with about 3 inches before it gets to the bust point area. So 3 inches. So that 3 inches just come down and then slope it in like this to create that V and that back pattern. And then for the down, for the down part also, we're going to create a V also. So for the down part, depends on how deep you want that part to be, that V also. So for this, I'm just going to come up by, remember this part, this is allowance here. Uh -huh. So note, so I'm just going to come up, 2.5 is okay. So that 2.5, here's what I'm going to do, I'll just create a V like this, slope it into, into the cut. So here's what we are left with to work for the back pattern. So let's cut it out and see. So you see, this is how the back part is going to be. This is what we are going to extend to have that big bow on the side. So now let's transfer to our fabric. So I'll cut the front and then I'll show you how to cut the back. Okay, so I finished cutting. So for the back piece, so this is the back piece. I've cut it out. So this is the part where we're going to be adding this extra fabric. So it depends on how wide you want it to be. So you can decide to, to add it straight like this so i'm going to open open up the back part so it's better for us to sew and turn before attaching attaching the just make sure that you have the same size of fabric that you are going to use as the extra to stitch it and then i've cut out the front piece so i'll go and sew and turn it so you sew on the side and then the neckline and then to iron and turn so for the back piece i'll open up this part also and then i'm going to sew so before i sew this is going to be here this is going to be here like this for the back piece So it depends if you want to, if you don't want to line your, your fabric, you can do it this way. And then when you are done, you just stitch the edge to it. But if you want to line it, you can, you can line it before doing this. So you place it like this and then you stitch here, stitch the neckline point and then stitch here. So I'll go and do that now. And then I'll come back and show you how it is looking. Okay guys, so I finished teaching, so I'm going to show you what we have. So I'd like I explained, so you can see it is really neat here, once you do it this way. 
So the next thing we're going to do now is to join the back and the front. So in joining the back, so for the down part, I just stitched a little part and then left just small piece. So you're going to take it, so this is the side, you take it like this and then you place it like this. And then you stitch. So this is the first one and then this one is for the other side. You take this one also, you place also and then you stitch. So now we're left we're left with this part so this is where we're going to join our skirts from here to here so we'll have this side open for the back so i'll go and do that i'll join on the side side and then come back and cut out the skirts for us to see okay so i finished joining them together so you can see it is looking like a long straight piece so i just did the normal stitching okay so the next thing we're going to cut out the down part so you remember the length of our the full length of our gun is 38 and we took out 17 already so we have about 21 inch so that 21 inch i'm going to share it into two because it is a tiered gown i'll share it into two one is going to be 21 11 and then the other one is going to be 10 but both of them are going to be the same inches so i'm using my entire three yard strap of fabric so this is the fabric i'm going to share it into two now and then we'll stitch, I'll show you how to stitch them together. Finish cutting, so what I'm going to do now, take this to my machine, and then I'm going to go and do my gather stitch on it. So you can do pleats, depends on what you want. So I'll just run a straight stitch, and then I'll pull together, just to get it together. So I'll do this one first, before attaching the other one to the down. Okay guys, so I'm, I'm done pleating. So please don't mind the edge of my, my fabric roll. I actually ripped the fabric. <laughs> that is why it's looking like that. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is how we're going to attach this. So for this, you can actually do this in two ways. You can decide to, to just fold the edge like this. I've done this before in one of my videos. You can just decide to fold it like this. And then you start pleating it. So just pleat it. You just start, you, you are going to actually sew this with a top stitch. So that's what I'm trying to say to you. So you, you are going to start pleating it. Let me just open it up and do it so it will be easy. So you are so stitching this second layer on top of this. So you are just literally going to pleat it until you get to the end of the, of this, the down part of this, of this skirt. So that's what you are going to do. So for this other one that you are going to be pleating on top, you need to increase the width, that's the length. So for this now, what I have here is about three years. So I'll add another one to it, like 10 or 15 more inches to make it longer. And then I'll pleat it around it like that. And then we'll join this down to the top part. Okay guys, so I finished stitching it so you can see how it is looking. So for mine, I made the gathers fuller, so you can see, it looks full, it's looking like a, I don't know what to describe it, it's just full. Okay, so the next thing, you are going to take the center of your, of the top part, just take the middle, put a mark on it, and then for your skirt part also, you bring it together also, and then you take the center point. So after taking that center point also, we are going to start fixing. So we are going to fix. The one working with gathers is always hard to determine the center part. So you take the center and then we are going to stitch. So you stitch this to this side and then stitch this to this side. So this is what you are going to use as that for you to know. That's not Okay, so you start stitching now, you stitch like this, once you get to this point, you know that this part is where the, the V on the down part is going to get to, you stitch it like this, once you get to this part, this one is going to hang like this to the end, so this part, we are going to just um, finish up this part, as like fold it in a little bit, and then it's going to look neat on the part where the back is open so i hope you understand 
what I'm trying to explain. So you stitch all of this to the other part and then you leave this small edge, this part where you have the V. So depends on how wide you want your V to be. You leave this part. So this part, what you are going to do, just make sure you finish it neatly because you know it's going to just hang on the back like that. So you can just use hemming gum, whatever. If you are lining it, it's better. So you will be able to cover it up nicely. So that's for that. So I'll go and do what I just explained. Okay, guys. So I finished teaching. So you can see what I was explaining. So you just just place them on top of each other. So for the sleeve, the next thing we're going to do now, we're going to cut the sleeve. So cutting the sleeve is a simple process. So I'm just going to use my fabric directly. So you fold your fabric into into four. Depends on how wide you want the sleeve to be. So this part is where you are going to put the the five inches for your for your shoulder part. So because that part is going to be, you are going to if you want to pleat it, so you can add more inches to it. So for this, I'm just going to extend it a little bit. So I'll make it eight inches. So this is going to be eight inches, and then I'll take my armhole like this. So it is a very simple process. I'll take my armhole. So just make sure you trim your armhole to fit. And then I'll place my armhole on that point. And then I'll mark it like this just to create that armhole. So after marking it, I have my armhole. The next thing I'm going to do now is the length of my sleeve. So it depends on how long I want the sleeve to be. So take, make sure that 5 inches is still out. So I have about 15 inches here. I'll just add 1 inch that I'll use to fold it. And then I'll just do this. Why? Because this part is going to be gathered also. So it depends on how wide you want it to be. So that is what we will use. So you can see, so that's just my sim a simple off shoulder sleeve. You gather this point, and then this part, you pleat this point, and then you fix here. Okay. So I'll go and gather mine together, and then I'll bring it back and show you how to connect it here. Okay, guys, so you can see, so I finished teaching my sleeve. So like I said, this part, I just folded it up and then used my my tape my just tapes the, the edges so you can decide to add an elastic if you want to so now the next thing we're going to fix so you can see the armhole is a little bit smaller because i've worked on this so when you find this kind of situation all you are just going to do is you take the sleeve back and then you place it like this on the tip part and then you cut you just elongate the armhole area you understand so it fits into that point like that so make sure you don't cut you don't cut this um, top part out so you can see now it fits into that point so the next thing i'll go and fix it and then i'll place it on the mannequin for you to see the final look of the dress okay guys so you can see this waist part that open waist part, I just added elastic to it. So with this, it will be easy to wear it. But if you want to leave yours like that, you can leave it. But this actually makes it easier so it will fit the waistline properly. So I will place it on the mannequin for you now to see how it looks. Okay, guys. So at the end of the day, so you can see the back of our dress. It really came out beautiful. So because of that elastic that we added here, it will be easy to enter into the waistline so you can make your bow bigger if you don't want this part to show you can actually make a, a bigger bow and then it falls and covers it but if you want to expose this part more you can decide to you can make a smaller bow so i actually love the back of this dress so i'm going to turn the front now for you to see how it looks Okay, so you can see the front of the dress. So for the pleats at the down, if you want it to be bigger or fuller, you can just add, like I said, you can increase the length of the fabric that I use, the amount of fabric that I use. 
and then you plate it more smaller. So mine are a little bit big because of I was trying to manage my fabric. So thank you so much. If you find this video helpful, please, I would appreciate if you hit on the like button. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe to Stylish Nigeria YouTube channel. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you in my next video. God bless you. Bye.